How is it going guys? It is me, your lord and savior Drew Peacock, here to stop you guys from buying any overpriced, overrated, hot garbage on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or OfferUp. We don't want none of those rice or garbage ass cars, so I'm going to show you six today that you should not buy. Let's dive right in. All right, first car is a 2012 Scion TC Sport Coupe, and this dude is asking $9,800 for it. Which isn't a bad price if it didn't look like this. If this car didn't make you clinically blind just from looking at it, it wouldn't be that bad. But let's take a look. Also, we're going to do this episode as a rice or nice. So I want you guys to vote. Is the car rice or nice? Down in the comments down below. Right off the bat, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are spamming rice in the comments right now. And I don't blame you, okay? But maybe, maybe it's got some twin turbos underneath the hood. I highly doubt it. But maybe it does. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's what my mom always used to tell me. Anyways, right off the bat, we can see just how aggressive this car is. This car has a personality of its own. It's got some evil spiky teeth up front. It's pretty fierce. You don't want to encounter this car out in a dark alley. It will eat your ass. Some high-speed racing canards, a broke-ass front lip, some bug deflectors, some dumb shit. Like, some just really tacky shit. Just literally went on to Wish.com and ordered every tacky thing he could for his car. Look at that rear end. He actually did some minor performance upgrades by drilling holes in his bumper. I hope those are holes and not just stickers because stickers... Don't make you fast. TRD Sports. You can see the level of craftsmanship with this car by the rusty ass exhaust tips. Perfect, perfect. 10 out of 10 quality right there. This car from every angle is just ass ugly. There is not one good side of this car. You know what? Actually, let me correct that. If you close your eyes, the car looks beautiful. Once you open them though, fucking nightmare. The interior, you're not saved in there either. It's got a roll cage, so this thing must have seen track time somewhere, right? I mean, you got a roll cage in your car. I'm expecting like a 10-second car. And every every race car needs a roll cage and some fur on the doors, you know? You got to have some VIP status up in there too, right? And then some paint splatter everywhere. I think, uh, I think this guy kind of overdid the paint splattering, if I do say so myself. He got it on literally everything. Busted nuts everywhere, all over the car. Maybe it's a representation on how he lives his life. Just spread a nut everywhere. His gauges are pretty cool, I guess, in a show car-esque theme. Um, the whole NOS canister. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. You know, a little NOS energy drink. But everything else is just garbage. I like how the cargo area wasn't even safe. Like, no one's going to go back there. He has nothing set up back there, so it's probably never going to be open out of meat. But, paint splatter. Okay, those, those two pieces, the easiest pieces to remove, paint splatter. Anyways, I think it's time for you guys to vote down in the comments. Is the Scion TC rice or nice? This guy didn't show anything underneath the hood, so we're going to go ahead and assume it's just paint splattered underneath there as well. Let's move on. Next vehicle, a Ford Mustang, $8,100. You can get a really nice, really well taken care of Ford Mustang GT for that price. At least one of these earlier S197s, you can get that for that price. This guy's asking $8,100 for a V6 with how many miles? Almost, almost 180,000 miles. Let's see. So right off the bat, we can see he's in Head Turners. Head Turners Car Club is the dumbest shit ever. I'm going to say that right off the bat. They literally let anyone in. You got tire lettering, you're in Head Turners. At least here in SoCal, Head Turners Car Club, I'm sure they used to be cool and everything. It's just so oversaturated with like V6 cars that just look fancy. When they're actually slow as dog shit, they're just useless cars. I, I don't know, but that's a different rant. Anyways, we got a Drew Peacock copycat car right here. He has a similar front bumper to me. It's not the same. This is a rep. This isn't the real one, okay? You can tell because he's got little spikes coming off of the front right there. You see that? It's a rep. It's a Duraflex rep. Same with the wide body flares. Not the same. He's one of those Mustang guys that really just lives with the whole crowd killer thing. You know, oh, look, I got blood on the front of my car. Ha, 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 watch out, crowds. I got a V6. Ha, ha, ha. I can't even break my tires loose. Ha, ha, ha. Rear end, ugly, just basic, just ugly head turners, of course. Just what you would expect from a head turners car is on this car. Underneath the hood, let's take a look. Is there any Kenny Bell underneath there? Is there any turbos? Nope, just more paint splatter. Looks like he's got an aftermarket intake. Paint splatter on everything because that's all it takes to be in head turners and do dumb shit to your car. And you're in head turners. Perfect. Into the interior, it's actually underwhelming. I was expecting a lot more paint splatter, but it's just on the door sill, so I guess that's okay. Into the interior, I was expecting a lot more paint splattering, but it's just on the door panels. It's stock ass seats. He's got some fake carbon fiber wrapped pieces all throughout the interior. Buddy, you know they sell real carbon fiber for your interior, right? I'm in the process of buying it myself. This fake shit does nothing. Here we go though, let's take a look at his list of mods, okay? Partial wrap, 
$900. For that? You paid $900 for that. That's almost like a full wrap price for a partial. You're stupid. Duraflex wide body, $800. Highly doubt it. Upgraded drilled and slotted front and rear brakes, $950. Doesn't even list the brand. All right, sure. Built rear end upgraded to $373, $700. Okay, questionable. Aftermarket front bumper, $400. Eh, it is a rep. Custom arrow kit, front splitter, side skirts, diffuser, $950. Look at that. Look at that bent ass shit. You're going to pay $950 for that? No. Pirelli tire stickers, $300. You got ripped off. I like this though. 91 performance and race tune. Yeah, yeah, you really need to tune all that, all that horsepower. Got to make sure it doesn't, you know, damage the car. Anyways, $8,100 in Norwalk. That's actually close to my parents' house. I'm surprised I haven't seen this ugly-ass car driving around. Let's move on. Go ahead and vote down in the comments if this Mustang is rice or nice. All right, next car, 2007 Honda Civic EX Coupe. Let's take a look. Is this car rice or nice? Right off the bat, we see this guy is a complete stud, okay? He's upgrading from the Honda, probably going straight to a Beamer M3. I mean, look at him. That's a BMW driver if I've ever seen one. His wheels, although they do look like reps from here, they're not that bad looking. Uh, the steering wheel, again, they, he's matching at least. At least he's not just going overkill with, with paint splatter, hopefully. Now, he did light up his car like a Christmas tree, which at least in Southern California is illegal to have red headlights like that, but it's okay. Look how crazy and aggressive that front splitter is. It almost sticks out like, what, one and a half inches? Crazy. This picture gives you nothing from the car. You're trying to sell your car, and I can't even see it in this damn picture. I can see these damn nuts and bolts better than that stupid ass car. All right, let's see. Hopefully the next picture is better. Oh, look, a zoom up of his carbon fiber wing. All right, so what? That's a few hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, if that. All right, this picture gives me nothing more than the first picture gave me. This guy doesn't know how to sell a car. Okay, this picture gives me double what the last picture gave me. We got half a car, full car. Come on, I wanna see some more stuff. Oh, back to this photo again. This guy it really is gonna have trouble selling this car if he doesn't provide any more photos. And oh, lights change colors. There you go, just in case you were wondering. Uh, can we see the rear or anything? Thank you, thank you, we got a rear. You call that a tow hook? What is? What are you gonna tow with that? That's a lanyard. What are you gonna tow with that? What you, is that really gonna pull your car out of the ditch if you go off the road on the track? I don't think so. Big old fart can exhaust. It's probably not that bad of quality, it looks legit. Six speed license plate and eh, whatever and back to the front end. Come on. Can we see some more of the car? Here we go. We got a little glimpse. Okay. We got, we got to pull out our binoculars and look into the interior. We saw that we see the white steering wheel and maybe an aftermarket shift knob. Come on, man. This guy really is really bad at. Oh, back to the beginning. So we don't get any good photos of underneath the hood. Um, I'm guessing it's stock. We don't have any good photos of the interior. You know, he could have sharded all over the seats. We would have no idea. But to make up for that, he does show off his very aggressive gladiator spikes on his wheels so that's pretty cool but yeah i mean come on if you're trying to sell your car you got to at least provide all around photos of the car interior underneath the hood call it a day maybe his description will help us daily driven stage one action clutch okay well you know you're in trouble if the first thing he lists is his clutch as a mod no lightweight flywheel carbon fiber hood carbon fiber wing all right you know i'm out of here there's nothing there's nothing entertaining on this car at all it's all just for looks it looks like nothing about it screams race car vote down in the comments is this honda civic rice or nice next car toyota celica for sixteen thousand five hundred dollars that's an expensive celica if you've ever asked me ferrari inspired now you got me nervous. All right, so if it's Ferrari inspired and he's asking so much money, it must have authentic Ferrari parts. Let's take a look. In this first picture, very shitty picture, but we do see some Ferrari badges. You know, I think you can get those on eBay for probably like a couple bucks. Let's find out actually. Well, once you look at that, $14. You can find some for even cheaper. All right, so at this rate, he should have probably 10,000 of those badges on his car for it to make up for that price. Let's take a look. So we got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, just shy of fourteen thousand. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if this is gonna be worth it. Let's uh, let's let's slow down though. Let's go back to the first picture. So we have some very cheap aftermarket wheels. Nothing too fancy. If it was just a basic ass Celica, then it would be okay because they fit with it. But with this whole Ferrari look, I don't know. They're not really screaming Ferrari to me. Uh, yeah, I don't think Ferrari would put their emblem on a rear bumper lip like that. Just saying, I don't know. And it's not really centered either. Uh, if you look down here, centered would be about right there. But that's just me. Yeah, I don't think Ferrari would also spray paint the floor mats red. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Chief. It ain't uh, same with the steering wheel. I don't, it's not even the same red as the car. It's, it's like a uh, scarlet red. It's not even like a red red. But I don't know. The seats themselves don't look too bad. Yeah, I don't know if a Ferrari would actually chop into the steering wheel like that. Uh, and it's also not centered either. So you got some crooked ass people designing this car. But uh, yeah, uh, taking a chunk out of your steering wheel right where you would hit your head if you ever got into a car accident. Yeah, it probably doesn't sound too smart. Yeah, I don't know if Ferrari would have a uh, little Lamborghini in the uh, radio console area. I'm not sure Ferraris would have that, but uh, I don't know, that's just me. Yeah, to be honest, this Ferrari looks a lot like a Celica. So I don't know where you got that price from. Uh, I know it's Ferrari inspired, and it's not a Ferrari, but yeah, just because it's inspired and you threw some eBay badges on it doesn't mean it's worth $16,500. No, I don't know what kind of, uh, what kind of herb you be smoking, but you're on some good shit. Now, I don't speak this language, so it looks like it's a Ferrari 430 replica. Oh, so it is a replica. Because that just looks like a Celica. I don't see a replica there. Hmm. Well, that's all I can that's all I can really grab from this. I don't I don't speak this. I see motor. That's it. Anyways, if you are in a dire need of getting rid of about seventeen thousand dollars and you need it gone ASAP, hit up this guy. I'm sure he can make something happen. Anyway, vote down in the comments. Ferrari, rice or nice? All right. Whoever the hell takes photos in portrait mode like this and posts them and then has half of the other photos in landscape, you are a piece of poop. Next car, 2000 Ford Mustang GT Coupe two-door. Let's take a vote right off the bat. Rice or nice? All right, let's move on. No, okay, we got to break down this car. We got to see. Maybe he's got some sort of crazy supercharger, but this is going to be an editing nightmare. So I'm only going to go through the photos once. So better take good looks at them right off the bat. The big glaring issue with this car, the first thing I'm sure everyone notices is the red spray painted brake calipers. Why would you do that to your car? That doesn't do any, I'm joking. The Lambo doors, Lambo doors on a car like this, come on. Now I've heard people say, well Lambo doors on a coupe isn't so bad because the doors are so big anyway, it makes it hard to get in and out of parking spaces. I'm sure there's one kid in the comments already typing that because he's already got Lambo doors in his shopping car and he's pretty much ready to buy them with his dad's credit card, but it's, you know, he's got to wait, he's got to see if they're worth it. But let me, let me tell you this kid, if you think Lambo doors on your Mustang is worth it, you better bring around a clown mask everywhere you go. That way at least people think it's part of a show or some shit when you lift that shit up. Anyways, this guy really just posted photos in portrait mode, we can't see much from it underneath the hood we do have a big ass cold air intake exhaust the design of it is pretty good though um i had one of these on my v6 mustang back when i had it and yeah it goes into the fender which is as far away from the engine as possible so it is getting up some cold air but i don't know how much power is it adding probably minimal all right since a lot of these photos are about the size of a game boy advance screen i'm gonna go ahead and move on till we get to a bigger photo the interior looked basic the exterior is just spammed with fake vents we got a fake vent right above the GT. We got a few fake vents up on the hood. On top of the fake vent that comes factory on these stupid ass cars, what is with this car and fake vents? And then, of course, you got to throw up the flex, got to throw up the gang signs, throw up the Lambo door, let everyone know that you are rocking an exotic. Now, see, this guy's smart. Lambo doors are only flashy when your door is open. You can't drive with a Lambo door open, so not enough people are going to stare at you. To get maximum eyes on you at all times, to snap the most amount of necks, you got to put neon underglow. It's just what makes sense. And he's got LEDs inside the interior as well. This guy probably has a chiropractor business because he's just breaking people's necks and backs left and right. And that's some smart business. All right, close-ups of the car can see that it is in very bad shape. It looks like it's been in an accident. It's got a lot of body f <laughs> it's got a lot of body filler all over it. So the car is in very bad shape. Uh don't buy this car. It is a disaster, it looks like. Anyways, vote out in the comments. Ford Mustang GT, rice or nice. All right, last vehicle. I swear we've seen this car before. I feel like we have, but it got sent to me. I don't know if we have seen this exact one, but let's take a vote. It's done correctly to an extent. It's not mixed match. It's not like rear-ended. It's done like, you know, correctly. But is this rice or nice? 1996 Honda Civic DX Coupe. Now, the reason why I don't really... All right, let's take a step back. Now, the reason why I usually don't say these are rice is because they were usually done in a time period when this was acceptable, when the, people thought this looked cool. Now, I don't know who thought this looked cool because this looks stupid, but back in the early 2000s, people were on some different shit and they thought that this stuff was hot. Now, this stuff, this is some modern day shit right here. This is stuff that people do nowadays. The whole pool noodle mess underneath the hood, covering up all your wires, every single one of them in a colorful wire loom. 
stupid. Look stupid. I, you know, I'm all for wire looms, but you don't need to make them colorful. Especially when underneath your hood looks like this. I mean, you're not rocking anything cool underneath here. If you got a full build or something, a full-fledged show car, maybe, but rock in the cold air intake and a fucking painted valve cover, man. Come on. Rear end, we got a double-decker wing back there. Maximum downforce to those useless rear wheels. We got not one, not two, but three side scoops. One, two, three. Maximum ingenuity, tow hook in the back. Oh, Beautiful. Look at that interior. Everyone take notes. This is how your interior should look. It should look like R2-D2 just got skinned and we just put all over the interior. Really nice. That's what you want your interior to look like. Especially when your car is silver. I don't know why you'd want white and blue on your interior. He's got giant subwoofers in the back. Everyone loves the sound of a rattling Honda Civic as you hear as everything's rattling every body panel every fucking piece of trim inside the interior just shaking up a storm all right not too many pictures on this one though but what do you guys think on a car like this is this rice or nice should they just put it back to stock let me know what you guys think down in the comments and that will conclude this video hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please leave a thumbs up like i said go vote down in the comments i want to hear your guys's opinions were these all rice or were some of these nice? Vote down in the comments. Support the channel by picking up some merch. Link in the description down below. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.